it's Tuesday morning and I'm ready to mod. All right, this is my tank bag. It's big and dorky. Got it from Aldi. It's like a magnetic one. And then that bit comes off. It just looks dorky, man. Anyway, so I'm gonna do a mod, right? Cause it's a little bit like, it's a bit annoying. So we're getting rid of it. We're getting rid of it. <laughs> so now I'm gonna put this one on, right? So this is Shad. Same as my tank, uh, same as my panniers, right? This is the new and improved tank bag. Tank bag. <laughs> this is a tank bag. It's Tuesday morning. I can't speak properly. <laughs> this is the E10P. E10P. Tank pack. Mm. Tank bag. No idea how many liters it is. Maybe five? I'm going to say 10. No, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Could be totally wrong there, but anyway. All right, so what you do is you attach it. <clears throat> to there. So what you have to do is get this little fitting plate specific for your bike. <gasps> See, the reason why I like Shad so much is because it doesn't change the look of your bike. All you do is you take out some of these bolts, can't remember which ones, but anyway you take out some of these and then you replace them with one and it just basically they sit just a little bit higher, higher and then you slide it on, so it doesn't actually touch that at all. You attach this part to the bottom of that part. Okay, right. let's do it. Apparently it takes three minutes. Let's see. I'll show you some of this stuff later. So you get... <clears throat> you get this. I don't think you need this. I, I don't know why they gave me that part, but you don't need it. Alright, so... This bit goes on the bottom. So, that bit facing up, the back. Pretty sure I know what I'm doing. Three minutes, I should have started the timer. Um, it's that what one. What kind of a thing is that? I reckon this is gonna take longer than three minutes. <laughs> Got a funny feeling? Alright, hang on. <clears throat> I need to find... What the hell is even that? That's weird. Alright, I'll be back. Hi! <laughs> hey, hey! Hey! What's happening? Hi! <laughs> Look at that. Who knew I even had one of these? So, apparently what you do... Apparently! <laughs> <laughs> you attach it to in there, okay? But... If you want your tank bag to be sitting like further this way, you obviously screw it in up there. You've got options. If you want it to go that way more, you'd screw it at the bottom. Gotcha. You got options. I think I want to have it saying. back as much as back. I can. Yeah. Maybe. You don't want to be blocking so. your doobie walker. So I'm going to do it right way. <laughs> Off to a really good start. Yes, I am. That one in there the right way. Susie makes like an appearance in pretty much every video. She just wants to know what's going on. Again? So <laughs> this part is for the Kawasaki Vulcan. Before you put that in there, there's a little rubber thing. Why did I spread things out so You well? got wild when you I came did. out here. You started throwing things around. You get this like, little rubber doobie. Here's one I prepared earlier. Then you simply put it in there like so. Yeah, these little stupid things again. How long has this been? Has it been longer than three minutes? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna take the two bottom ones out and the top one. Yep. Like so. 
Bum, bum. Okay. Yeah, what's the time? <laughs> yeah, I gotta go to work. I'm gonna have to change this as well. You replace these babies with some other parts. I do know about this part. When you put these ones in, this is actually legitimately important. See how there's a hole in the top and there's not a hole in the bottom. Yes. Make sure the hole is upwards so that you can, yeah. Make sure, because otherwise you won't be able to get that back out if you ever want to take this off. So you put the hole facing up, which means you can unscrew that part. Noted. <laughs> what? <laughs> Noted. I haven't actually like tightened them properly yet because I've got to try and find something that's going to fit in that little hole. But then basically what you do is I'm going to look. Yeah, like that. It's in. And yeah, it doesn't actually touch the tank. So it's pretty good. This chucks your stuff in there. It's cool. Whatever. But that's so much tidier than the other Aldi one. And then, yeah, see this pin system thing here? Yeah. This little tag? You just pull it, and it comes off. You don't want to leave it on your bike. You just put it on. And look at that. Oh, just a lovely handbag. But if you do leave it on your bike, they have the zip. Oh, yeah. You can put a little lock on there. Lock in there. I mean, if they want it, if they, they want, want to get in, they're gonna get in. But same as anything, but it's a, a deterrent. A deterrent, yeah. So yeah, pretty good. Eh? Looks awesome. Happy with it? Yeah, pumped. Catch right. your salvo. Okay, we're back. It's we're back. after work now. Uh. So I just did a little bit of a tweak. So as you can see, I'm not. I'm not amazed. Oh yeah, I'm not very good at that yet. <laughs> Tightened these things here, and um, I actually moved this whole section up one. I didn't realize that there was there were holes at the top. So see how there's like holes? Yeah. Dum, 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 dum. And oh, I actually think that I did that well. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. beaut. Yeah. So I had a bit of trouble with the phone. So yeah, I had like actually. Got it. I took this part off, so. So it normally looks like this, this bar, this little attachment is gone. Yeah, so I just took that off because it was, I think I had it down here like this and that section was down here. And then when you turn the handlebars, <laughs> when you turn the handlebars, um, yeah, it was like hitting on that. So I took that bit off and um, I'll just do a little plug here. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> so yeah I can see all of my dash now so before when I had it it was slightly forward oh yeah oh also what I wanted to show you as well is in here um, there is um, like a what is this called a little waterproof, waterproof cover waterproof. thing waterproof. which fits like so snug, which like, is exactly what you want because it's like as snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> but that's awesome, eh? That actually, there's not going to be any flapping or anything at all. You should, so, um, you should insert a clip from that oh, rainbow yeah. trip when it was yeah, bucketing it was like, down, and it's like, yeah, with the wind going in there. Dodgy one down here. Dodgy podgy building. This is so much better, hey? Yeah. So, um, yeah. Oh, and something else I'll show you too. <laughs> in here um i've already got my like little battery pack i'll just have a cord that comes out of there and there's like a little i think it's in here yeah so there's a little hole in here can you see just in there yeah a little hole in there so that means sorry <laughs> that means i'll just be able to run a lead out and then just plug it in and charge my stuff so I feel as though I am fully hooked up until the next mod. Now, you know what I think I'm gonna actually do? What? I think I'm gonna try and change my um, my headlight. But what you can do is just change the halogen light bulb 
with an just LED. an LED. And it just makes it look like that cool light rather than a warm light. Yeah. And you'll have much better visibility, so. Yeah. And that's reasonably cheap, so I reckon that's probably gonna be my next mod. Yeah, I thought about doing that to my bike too. Yeah. Well, that, you can get, that I think that come. it's the same bolt, so you yeah. can just get like two and we'll just do a double mod. Oi. Oi, double mod it. I'm can I that. say what I think your next mod should be? What? Wheel trim. Oh! <laughs> this Dodgyville wheel trim. <laughs> Look at it all bubbling and it's been put on in pieces. <laughs> Uh, I hope you enjoyed the mod and there's gonna be another one, you know it. I know it. Everyone knows it. The postman bloody knows it. <laughs> the postman. <laughs> the postman. I'm an Australian. <laughs> <laughs> Not gas. Fuel. Your petrol tank? That's it. Your fuel tank?